Hi, I'm Katherine Alice, and the last part of releasing that I want to talk about this, and I want you to tread carefully here, is how to get your ex back. Because there is a way, and it is counterintuitive. It's not what you think. The thing that will make your ex run screaming is any kind of desperation, any clinginess. But if you can't accept that you're going to have to release them for now, do a real release, not a fake one, like, like just to get them back, but a real release and focus your vision back on your life right now and getting on with it, enjoying other people. And you could maintain some contact with your ex. They may come back. But what I would not do is put all your eggs in that basket. Most of the time, it doesn't work out. But for those who've done my work, the thing that brought their ex back was actually to release. Because the ex felt that release, you will often hear from your ex. It's something that I warn people about in my releasing a person work, because it's amazing how many people have done this work and lo and behold, they leave the workshop and they get a message from their ex or they hear from somebody they haven't heard from in months. One person who did the releasing a person work actually heard from every guy she had dated in years within about 30 minutes. That's how powerful it is. And so when you release, oddly enough, it makes your ex want to come back to you, but I wouldn't do it for that. If you do, it's on the level of manipulation and it won't work. And so you have to be willing to let go and trust that if not this person, something better. And just think about that. Something better sounds pretty good. And it'll go smoothly if it's somebody else. If it's your soulmate, it'll go much better. But if your ex is your soulmate, the very act of really releasing may bring them back. And so I would try to be cordial don't do anything to fan the flames of attachment. Stay released and focus back on the vision of your life because it's not happening right now and they may just come back, all right? And they have to be serious, word of warning. They need to have change, be willing to grow, work out the differences and really be serious about you. I would not show back up for something like a booty call, friends with benefits, or just to make sure they still have you on the hook. You're not a puppet on a string, and so it needs to take something very serious for you to go back. You want to value yourself that much. All right, so again, word of caution, tread lightly, but it may work out. I just wouldn't put all my eggs in that basket. I support you. I send you my blessings for recovering very nicely and keeping your eye on the amazing world beyond this release. Much love and support.